most of your home at last, are you, you scrawny wee weed? What sort of time do you call this to come in? I suppose you've been working overtime again, have you, you ungrateful, thoughtless crumb? You get no consideration for me at all. After all, I'm the one who has to sit here all day with nobody to talk to. <laughs> and who told you that you could come in here without knocking first? Honestly, anybody would think you own the place. You just walk in here without so much as a buy of leave. I could have been in a state of undress, but oh, come in. <laughs> That's better. And listen, you mind where you put your feet. You nearly trod in the cat, and it's just till it's dinner. And if you want any dinner, there are some cheese slices in the pantry. Although how you can work 16 hours a day in that rotten factory and then come home here expecting to be fed is beyond me. I don't sit here doing nothing all day to be expected to tell you where the cheese slices are. You're bone idle, that's for you, are bone idle. <laughs> and don't slam the pantry door. You know it blows the dust off the kitchen table and my chest's not what it used to be. You're a cruel, wicked person and why I don't sue you for divorce, God only knows. It's only because I am trying to make this marriage work. <laughs> oh, my first husband was much more thoughtful than you are. I'd still be with him today if he hadn't stuck his head in the gas oven in our honeymoon hotel. <laughs> they ruined the rest of the holiday, that did. <laughs> Who told you that you could have two cheese slices? Do you think that food grows in trees these days? And listen, will you stop bringing home big bits of metal from your work? What is it you've been making in the cellar anyway? Hammering, screaming, killing all day long. Oh, that's what it is, is it? Now, what the hell do you think we want with a doorstop that looks like an old ship's cannon? And don't point it at me. You know what my nerves are like. What are you doing with that lighter anyway? Look, if you cause a fire in here, it's you that's going to have to pay for it. Have you paid up the insurance lately? I bet you haven't, because you never pay up anything. No, it's me that has to pay all the time. I have to do everything in this house. I lie here on this sofa and tell you to... And why are you taking that apron off? Listen, I have a whole list of chores still for you to do. You need to think you're going out again. Where do you think you're going? You think you're going to the club? Do you think I'm going to stay here all day with nothing, nobody to talk to? And then when you come in, you just go right out again. Oh! <laughs>